and coolest police cars ever. Usually, police cars are reliable, but boring. Sometimes, however, they do get to play with some toys that are much more inspiring to drive. Rules are made to be broken, some say. Well, well, police cars are made to assure prevention. Police work often leaves cops around the world with cars that can successfully bear the punishment while being cost effective. That explains a large number of the tough, usually unexciting police cars on the street. However, when it comes to chasing criminals or making an impression, where the typical police cars might fail to keep up, police have proved successful in choosing the coolest cars. Number 10. AMC Javelin AMX the very first American cool car occupied by a police organization to catch up with the fast cars then on the market. Reportedly, Alabama was the first state to use this muscle car. Back in the late 60s when there was intense horsepower competition among companies in the car industry, AMC Javelin was chosen by police for its excellent performance and reasonable price. In fact, not only did it look cool, but it also could travel at over 150 miles per hour. The police package included a rear spoiler with the famous State Troops labeled on it, making the car even more cool looking. Number 9. Alpine A110 was the first sports car acquired by the French police fleet in the 1970s. French Gendarmerie needed a car fast enough to keep up with the speeding drivers, especially after the high number of deaths reported on French roads. At this point, the Renault Hoover 4 and 4L gave way to the Alpine A110. Number 8. This is a 2014 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 10. The Evo X with its 295 horsepower engine is not an ordinary police vehicle. This police car comes with the exterior police paint scheme and light bar as well as an automatic number plate recognition ANPR, system allowing quick check on every detail about vehicles on the road. Overall, brilliant performance, along with improved safety and appearance, makes the Evo 10 a great, exciting choice to complete the fleet. Number 7. Kia Stinger GT This is the new Kia Stinger, and this car is going to change the way you think about the Korean brand forever. What could best replace the old, discontinued Ford and Holden cars in the Queensland Police Fleet? To the world's surprise, Queenland's road police came up with Kia Stinger GT as the best choice, and to this day they have not been let down. Stinger GT is a rear-wheel drive with twin-turbo V6 engine, sprinting from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds despite its large size. Number 6. Guilia Quadrifoglio. Brand new Alfa Romeo Giulia Quattro Fromaggio. To suit the Carabinieri, one of three of the main law enforcement forces of Italy and perhaps the most stylish one, Alfa Guilio was produced in the representative dark blue and red. It also features hidden weapon cases inside. The Guilia Quadrifoglio is not only super attractive, but it's also a super fast car. This is an even faster version of an already very fast car. It's called the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA, and it's a bit of an animal. Number 5. Dodge Charger Pursuit. 
In 2006, Dodge Charger Pursuit replaced the long-used Chevrolet Impalas and Ford Crown Victorias in many U.S. police fleet, and it successfully maintained its image as a popular car for years. Although it's often seen on the streets, Dodge Charger Pursuit, with its unique nasty look, is nothing less than a cool police car. Number 4. Honda NSX Japanese law enforcement agencies seem to prefer practical cars to cool-looking ones. However, there have occasionally been some unique cars added to the fleet. Honda NSX is said to have been donated by Honda to Tochigi police to help them keep pace with the rule breakers ignoring speed limits. It gives excellent performance while being fuel efficient. It was compared to Lamborghini Gallardo and Audi R8 back in the time. So as you approach a corner like this one, computers are measuring the speed, they're measuring G-force, steering input and so forth. They're adding power to the wheel or taking power away from the wheel as it's needed. Number 3. Porsche 911 Carrera The hottest, hardest, tightest 911 of the yeah. Porsche 911 Carrera was the last police car of the long-used 911 series adopted by Austrian traffic police. There are new injectors. The engine is, of course, out over the rear axle. Classic 911. It served excellent service to Austrian traffic police forces as long as it was used. It featured all the necessary options a police car would need, including onboard radio system, a light bar on the roof, and more. It could go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds. Therefore, the 911 Carrera offered excellent performance as well as a stylish, cool ride. Number 2. Lamborghini Huracan When it comes to style, Italy sure has a lot to offer. The unwritten rule seems to apply to the country's police force as well. The Polizia occupied this glorious car, mostly to be used in special events and ceremonies. There is even a defibrillator and refrigerated trunk to carry organs, just in case. It, however, is also equipped with an onboard tablet and recording apparatus to document traffic stops. The Lamborghini Huracan is more than just beautiful. It delivers an outstanding performance guaranteed by its 610 horsepower V10 engine. Moreover, it offers 202 miles per hour plus speed making it one of the coolest police cars ever. Number 1. Bugatti Veyron This is the world's fastest uh, police car. The most expensive police car in the world, Bugatti Veyron, belongs to Dubai's police fleet. The fleet includes many other supercars from the Ferrari FF to Lamborghini Avantador. Bugatti Veyron can travel at a pace of 265 miles per hour plus to be entitled as the fastest police car. Surprisingly, none of the supercars owned by Dubai's police are meant to get involved in high-speed pursuits. They are more of a marketing tool, aiming the public image of the police and impressing tourists at the same time. With all that said, Bugatti Veyron is not only a cool police car owned by Dubai's police force, but it's the coolest one. Not only in Dubai's fleet, 
but in the whole world.